British poet William Wordsworth once wrote, let nature be your teacher, and it's a philosophy one Victoria preschool is truly embracing. Here's V. Cooper with this week's Vital People. Spread out, guys. Spread yeah. out. Okay. I oh, I don't see you anywhere. Where did they go? Just another day of preschool fun for these four and five-year-olds. Nature preschool, to be exact. The children love being outside. There's so many things to explore and learn. I wonder if we can figure out how to climb that big tree. I wonder if anybody can figure that out. This morning is a mix of outdoor and indoor play. Well, you get that yeah. But starting this fall, the Cridge Centre for the Family is launching their nature preschool, and the children will be outside the whole time. They learn in different ways when they're outside. They uh, are more interested in the biology and physics of their outdoor surroundings. Where are the uh, caterpillars? Up, there, up, up in the tree. They're obviously more physically engaged, they're more active. Please get this down, guy. Which leads to physically fit children, to children who just generally are loving to be outdoors in the fresh air and playing. I love my wet shoes. Enjoying nature under overcast skies is one thing, but let's be honest, this is the wet west coast. The philosophy of the nature preschool will be there's no bad weather, there's just bad clothing. So we do have some donations already to help parents get suitable clothing, um, muddy buddies, rain gear, whatever they need. So the children can really be out interacting with nature through all the seasons. And while the Cridge Centre doesn't encourage owners to walk their dogs on the beautiful Gary Oak Meadow property, the preschool teachers do realize this is yet another teachable moment. Learning about approaching them correctly and, and getting to know them, it definitely is a very positive um, interaction for the children. And positive interaction with nature is what this preschool is all about. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.